Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami 2. In the last session we found out some truths about what happened like 20 years ago and uh, we, we, got, we got really badly stabbed and uh, had to stumble to safety with blood pouring out of us and then we were absolutely fine and there was no repercussions to that at all. So that was interesting <laughs> but uh, we left off at the club because I realized that I had an opportunity to uh, get some stuff done off camera and uh, get ready for the championship. And so, I have done that. And uh, let's take a look at our stats. If we head on into the menus. So, um, ranking match, we have earned, our, our best placement is eight and a half million for the Millionaire League, and the, the crown one is 5.5. So, we have done very well. We have done very well in the mini Millionaire League. We've only participated five times, but that was enough. We got 7,000 fans, uh, and yeah, it's been going pretty well. So if we can do a performance like that in the actual championship, then uh, that's, that's GG's for the Millionaire League. So hopefully that will indeed be the case. Uh, let us sort out who we want. Uh, I, I did try out these people that we uh, that we got, the headmistress and uh, the octogenarian or whatever she was called, Etsuko. Uh, that was that was an interesting experience. Um, but anyway, I have rested my uh, my best girls. She's obviously been taken, so we unfortunately can't uh, can't have her. But we have got a couple of others to max, and I believe I think I think the max was forty, so I think you're one off. So we're doing pretty well. So let's go for you, and you, and you, uh, and then you, and basically a lot of our gold people, I guess, that are a higher level and happy. Uh, you. We got any golds left? Yes, you and last one. She's max as well. Nice. Uh, okay, we're out of gold, so I guess we'll go for a happy silver. So you. Okay, there we go. What is our what is our stat distribution looking like? Uh, we have A's and S there, A and S there, A and S there, triple A there. Okay, we're we're really lacking on funny by the looks of it. We've got one funny so far. Okay, two funny, three funny. Okay, three out of eight. It's not the best, but... Okay, we're lacking on cute in this row as well. C's and B's. Okay, C cute is actually a real holdup. We have one S, one A, and that's it for cute. Okay. Elegant and sexy are doing all right. So it's really cute and funny that is the issue, but we'll probably be fine, right? Surely. Oh yeah, I've got 28 million now. <laughs> so uh, that happened. I uh, don't think there's going to be anything that costs more than that in this game. Even like even buying the even buying the stores, because uh, I've done. Wait, where do you where do you see? I forget where you see all the places you've bought. As in. Is it in club status? Did I just miss it? Oh yeah, it's literally right there. Partner shops. Duh. Even buying all of these, it was like, I, I'm, I can't. I don't even think there were any that were over a million. So yeah, it went. It went pretty well. Uh, right. So anyway, with that, let us jump into the championship. Then uh, they have thirteen thousand total fans. We have seventeen thousand total fans. So uh, let's see how this goes, shall we? See where the day takes us. The Millionaire League Championship. We finally made it. Uh, yeah. Doesn't feel right being here without Koyuki. Oi. Right. You know, there was this one time I got kidnapped by a rival club. Oh, is this in Yakuza Zero? You don't think Koyuki-chan... Kidnapped? Over a cabaret club battle? <laughs> This was the smarmy voice, dude. Nyah! <laughs> what, what is that terrible smell? Mm, Foreshine? 
Yeah, that's right, it's poverty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Your club always reeks of it. I'd like you to meet the young lady who's going to kick you around today. This is our club ace, Ewer. <laughs> what a pleasure to meet you. So, you're Ewer, the national hostess. <laughs> that's me. Wow. Snap out of it, Kiyu-san. <laughs> uh, yeah. My bad. Mm hmm? Hmm? Where is that uppity little girl of yours? Kyuyuki-chan, was it? Don't tell me she's called in sick. How unfortunate, considering how the odds are already stacked against you. Can you even go on without her? At this rate, why waste everyone's time with a battle? If you fought fit now, you might say face. Yeah, right. Who would do that? We'll fight. It'll hurt without Koyuki-chan, but with or without her, we're going to beat you. No, oh, please. This time, your fate is sealed. Yeah, you said that the last three times, mate. No matter how much you struggle. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, <laughs> don't mind me. You'll see soon enough. Shall we settle this? Oh, yeah, so last time, last time we did a... a an actual contest one, uh, they did in fact like kick all of our people out. And I remember at the time I was like, wait, what just happened? I, I wasn't sure if something bugged out or if it was like a mechanic. And yeah, it was an actual mechanic, you guys said. Uh, they did deliberately kick our people out. So I wonder if they'll do something similar this time. Newer, show them your full strength. Hi. Yep, what she said. Was that my cue? I'm sus of this guy. I feel like this guy is a bad guy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cabaret Club Grand Prix Millionaire League Championship. Today, our champion, Kinaicho Platinum Goddess, faces a new challenger, Sotenbori Forshine. Can they hope to compete against the national hostess without their darling Koyuki? Let's get ready to rumble! さあ、ついにやってまいりました。リーグチャンピオンシップ。果たして勝利の女神はどちらに微笑むのか。本気見せてあげるね。負けらんねえな。キャバクラグランプリ。Number one wall, Erabono! All right, here we go. Here we fucking go. Let's hope we have what we need. Okay, well, you love her and you're a tycoon. That is a good fucking start. That is what we like to see. Make some fucking cash off of this tycoon, motherfucker. Wait, why did they start with 240 already in the bank? That seems... that seems cheeky. Hello, another tycoon. Well, that is, that is a good start. We have two happy tycoons. Very, very nice. I need to remember what the uh, hand signals were for stuff. Boom, lovely. Three happy tycoons. Let the fucking Wonga flow. Ah, shit. Okay. Uh... Which are we going for? What is the one? Was it cute that we don't have much of? Okay, so you have a cute stat, so we'll go with you. I guess. You are a, you are one of our special ones, though, so is it worth using a special one on... Eh, it's... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You're one of our top three, so it's like, is it worth using one of the top three on someone who's not happy with her? But it is what it is. <laughs> ah, shit. What? This motherfucker is unhappy. He wants a cute, the cute stat, which we have an A in, and he wants the love skill, which we have, like, almost a full bar in, and motherfucker's still not happy? Are you taking the piss? How is motherfucker not happy? It smells like some bullshit to me. Bro, she's fevering already? Oh my god, they took us out. 
Oh god, okay, he's not happy either. This is going badly. They, they took two of our guys out, these motherfuckers. These pieces of shit. Can we please get some happy faces? Oh my goodness. Okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, that is the towel. Lovely. Now, what do we reckon? Do we reckon that I should save up for a level 3 showtime thingy? Or should I spunk it at 2? We're definitely not using it on one, but it's do we save up for a three or not? It can be it can be risky. I think we'll see what our situation is like when we hit two. L, that's guest class. Even with them fucking us over and removing two of our guests, we're only a little bit behind. If you hit two and you're in a good spot, then it can be risky to leave it for three, because you might hit three right as a bunch of people are leaving and then you're kind of fucked. Okay, now we just play the waiting game as the money rolls in. Uh, that is Ashtray. Come on, cash. Come on, cash. Roll on in. We're, we're catching a little bit, I think. L, that's guest glass. Okay, we've got a few people about to run out, so I'm not going to hit the, sh the thingy now. Uh, you are kind of negative, so I'm going to apologize. That'll make him happy. He wouldn't have extended. And we'll make room for someone who might uh, spend more. Okay, okay. We've got a lot of people about to run out at once. You were happy, so let's extend you. You'll definitely go for it, yeah. Good, good. Uh, you're about to go. You were not happy, so we'll just apologize. Get him out of there for someone who might do better for us. We are only two mil behind. Okay, you're going to extend. No, you're not? Okay, that's a surprise. You're going to extend. Okay, we're almost at level 3. Okay, uh... Let's get you on the case. You're going to extend. Lovely, we're about to hit level 3 thingy. And we've overtaken them. I just noticed we overtook them. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's get you in there, and have we actually hit level 3 now? It looks like we have, right? Okay, let's get this last one in, and then we'll hit the full thing. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Money, money, money. Okay, come on, come on. Roll in the big bucks. Roll in the big bucks. Need to get as far ahead right now as possible. His session's almost coming to an end and we already extended him, right? So he won't be extended again. Unfortunately. Gracious send-off. Okay, we are almost two mil ahead now. So unless they can pull out something insane in the final 30 seconds here. I think we're good. I believe we are good. Gracious send off. Okay, we are now over two mil ahead. They are about to hit a level two fever though. Did I already extend you? Yeah, okay. So they're about to get a whole bunch of cash. And we are rapidly losing guests here, so... Yeah, there's their fever. Okay, 
Catch a send off. Oh, we've got a fever as well, I just noticed. Oh shit, I should have used that earlier. Oh well. I'll seat this guy and then. Bro, no one makes you happy? Fuck me. Okay, and then level one fever for the final seven seconds, I guess. Okay, we win. We win. Comfortably. 9.1 to there. Oh, and we've got the oil baron as well. Get ready to mash. Get ready to mash. Oh, easy, mate. Never in doubt. That's what I heard. Easy. Easy. Nine point five fucking mil. Love to see it. Oh, nice. Shoko hit max as well. That's good. Oh, look at that money. Look at that yen rack up. We did it, Kiryu san. We won. Uh, yeah. I'm sure it was tough without Koyuki, but you guys did great. Phew, I'm beat. That was too close for comfort. Mm. Seriously, it's rough without Koyuki-chan. I was melting out there. <laughs> Impossible! We were guaranteed to win! Why? How did the plan fail? Mm. What plan? Too bad. So sad, Kanzaki. Oh, wait. <laughs> that's not him speaking. <laughs> oh, that's Koyuki. Oh, the surprise appearance by Koyuki. Too bad. So sad, Kanzaki san. Get fucked. What have you been up to? Koyuki chan? Slamming her head straight in there. Yuki san, I was so scared. What happened? I got surrounded by these thugs. Nani. Nani. What? Kanzaki. But then, that man over there stepped in. Oh, he was a fucking double agent. We love to see it. We love a double agent. yuda son. Who's he? He's the former owner but he's been missing for a long time. Yuda? You betrayed- <laughs> Yuda- Yuda betrayed me? <laughs> I was never on your side to begin with. I only joined you to put a stop to your crimes myself. Nandate. What the hell? What crimes has he committed here? He bought out the Grand Prix Operations Committee, ensuring that his group would always have the advantage. What? Finding proof was the difficult part, but with Forshine making such steady progress, he finally got desperate. But he was so sure he'd win this time. How did we pull it off? I asked an old friend to step in. He went to the committee and took out the trash, so to speak. An old friend? Kiruja. Oh shit! Really? Really? Okay! Kill you, Chan! Is the suspense killing you? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Okay, I'm a fan of this. Majima-san, why? Majima-san? Man, I'm really wishing that I had fucking done this in zero now. <laughs> I'm really wishing that I had actually gone for this in zero. Son of a bitch. Oh well. These weasels thought they had it made, so I went and taught them that cheaters never prosper. What did he do to you? Still, why did it have to be you, Majima-san? Why are you here? Well, you see, he's got a little bit of experience in this arena. Oh, didn't they fill you in, Kiyu-chan? I used to manage the sunshine with Yuda-chan and Yuki-chan here. What? Then all that nonsense about you being some Lord of the Night was... Oi, it's all true. He was a legend in these parts. We became Sotenbori's number one club, but then he vanished one day. 
Where did you disappear to, Majima-san? I was... I was worried sick, you know. Jeez. You were here one day and then gone the next. I thought you must have died. Sorry, Yuki-chan. I, uh... Well, let's say I had a lot going on at the time. Still, though, kind of sucks that the club I spent all that time building up fell into the hands of this Kenzaki dweeb. And now you're not a hostess but an owner. You take your eye off the ball for one second and the whole game changes. A second? It's been almost 20 years, Majima-san. But why now? What made you decide to come back? Yuda-chan asked me to. I didn't think I could face you after all this time. But I couldn't leave you hanging either. Majima-san. All the same, I'm glad I did. I even nailed down the traitor for you. Hmm? Wait, we have a traitor? Ugh. Yeah, one among you is tied around Kanzaki's little finger. What? No way. Who though? That'd be... It's got to be the announcer. Surely the announcer. The one standing right there. Really? Aika-chan? No way. Why? <coughs> That's so low, Aika-chan. What the heck? I didn't do anything. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I was pointing at the shit sack behind you. Okay, phew. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I thought she was cool. Mind doing a scooch, Aika-chan? What? Sure, sure. Ha, <laughs> called it. Called that shit. Called that shit. Buono Isozaki? Cool. Yep. This chump was in deep with Kanzaki, controlling the Grand Prix from the shadows. What? What? That's crazy talk. I demand you produce proof of these baseless accusations. Hey, half-dead guy. Bono's a shady son of a bitch, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> the camera shake, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, he was so fast. You're out of tricks now, Kanzaki. Isn't it time to admit defeat? <laughs> <laughs> Now, let's, let's not celebrate too early. Oh, it's this fucking... Uh, what, what voice did she even have? I don't even remember at this point. <laughs> it's been so long since we've seen her. You can throw yourselves a party after you beat the strongest club in the world, the Sunshine. Kirara-chan. I won't stoop to any cheating or tricks, but I won't have to. You can't hope to beat me in the state you're in. And you know it too, don't you, Yuki-san? Let's settle this once and for all, fair and square. Unlike you, I won't run away from a challenge. See you later then, I hope. Come on, Kanzaki-san, we're leaving. Yeah, right. Can we have Majima be a hostess, please? <laughs> so we're in the home stretch. Um, excuse me. Would you mind if I joined you guys? Mm. What? I didn't like working for cheaters, and you guys are way more fun. And now that all my friends are here, I want to come along too. Is that okay? Mm. Of course. Welcome aboard, Yuha-chan. <laughs> Clap. Well... Yuki's safe, you had joined us, the old owner's back, and for some reason, Majima-san showed up. <laughs> Let's just end this. Yes, sir. <laughs> for some reason, Majima-san showed up. Wait, she has another dinner date? I thought I did all her dinner dates. Huh. More cutscenes? Yeah. So the only club left in the Grand Prix is Karara-san's own, the Sunshine. Uh, right. But with Buono gone, can the Grand Prix even keep going? He was the only host. Oh, please tell me Majima's the new host. Don't worry. The committee has been reformed with new people who play by the rules, and they've brought on a new host. That quickly. Hey. Yep. Perfect timing. He's coming in now. 
<laughs> yes. Yes. Kirite. What the fuck was that voice? That didn't sound like his normal voice, did it? Am I crazy? Get you, chat. That sounded like a fucking nerd Majima. <laughs> that was weird. Yo, gear you, Chan. How do I look? Pretty nice threads, yeah. Nani. Nani. Majima san, of course. Do I even want an explanation? Well, they needed a host, so I volunteered for shits and giggles. But then they actually hired me. Majima san, have you ever hosted anything in your life? I mean, he's hosted like entire club nights and stuff for years as the as the Lord of the Night, which you just learned about, Kiyu, so I feel like he you, you already know he has like the uh Oh what's the word I'm looking for? I can't the word has slipped my mind. He has the the experience, I guess, is another way of saying it. Yeah. Can't say that I have. I mean Okay, are we talking very specific type of hosting then, I guess? Because like you've literally like, you've run a club, and you... Yeah, I don't know, whatever. But don't stress, Kiyu-chan. I got a knack for ad-libbing. Right, Yuda-chan? Hey! I've seen it firsthand. And thanks to you, the Grand Prix can carry on. You sure about that? Well, as long as that's sorted, we should worry about our next opponent. Can we really beat Karara-san? You guys think she's that strong? Hi. Yes. After Yuki-san stepped down, she became the next legendary hostess. She joined us when I was still number one at Sunshine. She worked hard and figured things out fast, so she climbed up quickly too. At the time, she was fond of me. So fond, in fact, she admitted that her dream was to beat me and become number one herself. But the day she became number two happened to be the day I quit Sunshine due to some circumstances. Mm. Circumstances? What happened? That was when Kanzaki-kun, who had only been on the staff until that point, took over the club as owner. How did he accomplish that? Kanzaki-kun was always really capable, and he was on the shortlist for manager candidates. Yuda-san and I had complete trust in him, and I guess we let him see too much. Then he betrayed us, took the name of Sunshine for himself, and became the sole owner. It's hard to believe, but if you really trusted him... We were careless. We didn't see that he didn't care about the customers and was only prioritizing money. And once he was able to show what he'd done for the profits, it was all too easy to push Yudasan and me aside. That's why Yudasan and I went and built Forshine. But he only hated us more for that, and that's when the harassment started. You pretty much know the rest. I got into his group by pretending I saw the light about his money, but I only wanted to stop him. That must have been hard. Karara-chan rose up to number one after I left, of course. But she thinks I ran from the fight, and now she wants to settle the score. Then, maybe that's what you ought to do. <laughs> what? You got Kiryu-chan backing you up as your manager? And Yuda-chan's gonna whip the staff into shape. Maybe it's time to dig up the dress and the smile so you can face her, Yuki-chan. me Go back to hostessing? Yeah, you're only 39, Yuki-san. I know you can still do it. Koyuki-chan, let's not go around spouting my age. <laughs> so she was 19 in Yakuza 0. She's right, though. No way a legend like you could forget how to do this. I don't care what anyone says. Karna-chan. I'm all about seeing the legend in action. What a time to be alive. I'm sure your skills would be a sight to behold, Yuki-san. Yuki I couldn't agree more. <sighs> you guys, nobody wants to request an old lady like me. Oh, you should see some of the people we have on staff, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what would I do? Age doesn't define a woman's appeal. What you've gained in experience as an owner may make you, may make you more than you ever were. Kiryu-san, you really think so? 
Uh, I do. And you should trust what the manager has to say. Isn't that right, Majima-san? Maybe. I mean, let's be real, this is still just Yuki-chan here. Ugh. Fine. Let me see if I still have any makeup in the back. <laughs> what, from 20 years ago? How long does makeup last? Yes, I'm coming with you. Girls to arms. Yuki-san needs us to help make this a reality. Got it. <laughs> Hurrying her into the back, that's funny. Nice blue, like the colour. Sorry, that took longer than I thought. Oh wow, very nice. How do I look? Is it weird? It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Option three. You're stunning. They weren't lying about the legendary thing. <laughs> Well, not bad, but nobody can shave 20 years off the clock. Majima, shut up. Yeah, exactly. You tell him. Shut up, Majima-san. Your daily look is downright loony now. And what did you do to your hair? If walking crisis is the fashion statement you're going for, then congrats. Huh? What the hell? Where'd this savage Yuki-chan come from? But having Yuki-san on the floor really completes us. I think this is how we'll beat Sunshine. Uh, yeah. This is the team we need. Guys, the toughest battle is still to come. Let's give it everything we've got, Forshine. Yeah. Clap. Oh, nice. And now he is, uh, Broski, that is the one we're talking to. All right, cool. Any further cutscenes? Or are we, are we done? I think we're good? Okay. So, can we just go straight into the final championship? Yeah, we totally can. Uh, but we won't, because it looks like they have 20,000 fans, so we should probably go ahead and uh, get some work done and get ourselves up to that level at least. I guess I'll just bang out some more millionaire... Uh, millionaire league ones, I guess. Uh, off camera. And then we shall take on the final championship. Sounds like a plan. Um, what do, what level did she come in as? Oh, she only comes in as level one, huh? Oh, right, and so does... Oh, man, that's a shame. <laughs> Yuki's stressed, Sag. Interesting. So these guys are platinum, and she's the one and only diamond. Huh. I guess I should level her up then. Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll be leveling these two off camera because what are, what are there? So you're you're you've got an A in cute, S in elegant. A A over there, A S. Man, you only have an S in cute, huh? And the rest are B's and C's. You're kind of shit, you are. Not gonna lie, you kind of suck dick. Okay, so yeah, if we have these six, that's a fairly nice spread. And then, uh... I guess her again. And preferably someone doing well and cute. I mean... Maybe? <laughs> I don't know I don't know how you've got an A and cute, but sure. Uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I guess that's some, some stuff for me to work on off-camera again. Cool, cool. But for now, we are done with that, uh, which means, oh yeah, we have some we have some stats things we can buy. Uh, let's get our defense up again. Can we limit break that? No, we cannot. We are maxed out on that once more. Okie doke. Uh, anything here we want to get? I think we've bought like most things at this point. Uh, breakfall recovery. Press A while being knocked down. Sounds good. Breakfall strike. Demonstrate two, true mastery. Press Y while being knocked down to smack a bitch. Okay. The tiger drop. Was that the one where it said we needed to go to the stadium thingy? The 
I think it was, right? Which I don't really want to do, but I do want the tiger drop because apparently it's amazing. People say that this is like the most OP thing, but it's annoying to unlock, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so we got pretty much everything in there. Oh, we are missing. Oh right, these are the these are the cold things which I am not not super fussed about. It's a shame that I see I I was quite a fan of the XP system in this game right up until now when I have thousands of every other type of XP but like no fucking green XP. So I am locked off from a bunch of this stuff. So now I am starting to see the issues with this XP system for sure. Cuz it's not like it's yeah, yeah, it's there's no like one thing where I can just hard target farm green and uh be all good. So, yeah, that is unfortunate. Uh, but really, those are the only things left to get, really. Because I'm not doing the Majima sub story, uh, sub quest business thing. I am doing, I am doing the Majima like main menu thing. Uh, but I'm not doing this mini game thing. But aside from those heat actions, I pretty much have most stuff I want now, which is good. Right, uh, anyway, I guess now is probably time to get back to the main story. Which, are we actually, yeah, take a cab to Osaka Castle. I'm coming, Haruka. Right, yes, Haruka has been kidnapped. Let's head to Osaka Castle. <laughs> 